Hello and welcome back to Jarvis Johnson Gold, the premium channel that is free. Um, it is, it is free. But if you're watching this, you're premium, and you're next. J just kidding, that's not a threat. Um, we're it's just we're today we're watching a show that I used to watch when I was a young one called MTV's Next. Now, I'm sure people have talked about this on the internet before, but MTV's Next was a little bit of a dating show on MTV where a person comes out sight unseen from this bus, and then you've gotta decide whether or not you wanna keep dating them throughout the day, and I think for every minute or something that the date lasts, they earn like a dollar or something like that. And so they can either say next and get to the next person on the bus, or they can offer the person an option. I'm explaining this horribly. They can, um, okay. Let's just jump into it. Let's let the show explain itself. One bus, five daters. They'll get cash for every minute they last. The one that makes it to the end will choose. Either go on a second date or take the money. Careful what you do because you may be next. Okay, so their explanation was a little more concise than mine. This is the all-star edition. So these are the best daters of all time, I presume. I'm Charity, I'm 24, and I'm already falling off the next bus. <laughs> what? Okay, so I think already you're starting to get a sense of what I was talking about, where people are hamming it up. Charity is not aware that she's mic'd up right now, and she, and she thinks that she has to scream in order to be picked up by the cameras. You know, thank you, Charity. Thank you for your gift, your charity to all of us. Ready, falling off the next bus. Body now it's Oh my God, this editing. So all these people have been on Next before, and I guess they're telling us a little bit about their, their time on the show. I'm gonna fall in love. Oh, okay, so now it's Charity's turn. It's t Charity's shot at love. I really am worried for what'll happen if Charity doesn't fall in love. <laughs> she's just giving me that energy. I like a guy who's a little ghetto because you know Miss Charity's always down for some thug love. I... <sighs> I just forgot about what the 2000s were like. I just forgot. I just put it out of my mind. I... Gentlemen, get ready for a taste of this manila cherry. Okay, so we're being introduced to the daters. I'm 23, and white chocolate is back to get this girl a taste of my milky goodness. What? They told these people to scream. Why are they all screaming? My name's Darvis, and I'm here to give some of my milky goodness. Oh God, that just doesn't even sound good coming out of my mouth. I'm sorry for the pain that I've caused. Yeah! I'm Adam, I'm 24, and I made one dollar last time. So this time, I'd like to at least match that. <laughs> He's like, I'm not going to shoot too high. <laughs> so you make $1 if you're there for one minute. So <laughs> he's like, look, I don't want to shoot for the moon here. If I can just match my last performance, that will be enough. And who told these men, like, it feels like the reason that I watch this as a kid is because they were doing all these things to like keep my attention like everybody's just like jumping in, in all four corners because you can't possibly chris here can't just demand the screen by himself he's got to have his gang of four compatriots dancing in each corner and i made one dollar last time so this time i'd like to at least match that <laughs> okay uh, upon a second viewing he, it looked like he was about to go for more. He was like, hi, I'm Adam. And last time I made $1. So this time, I'd like to at least match that. <laughs> he looked like he had war flashbacks to last time. And he's like, you know what? I'll do what I can. I'll do what I can. I'm Anirudh, I'm 23. And once again, I'm bringing sexy back. <laughs> Wait, does he have a sexy back? Literally, is that is that what he's referring to? I do think that the song "Sexy Back" by Justin Timberlake is about the concept of bringing sexy, bringing it back from, I guess, where sexy had gone. Not like I'm bringing my sexy back. <laughs> like my back is the thing that's sexy, and I'm bringing that with me. So prepare yourself. I'm Tremaine. I'm 24, and the last girl next to me was cold. So today I'm looking for hot, hot, hot baby, hot baby. 
All the time. I'm looking for a hot, 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 hot baby, hot baby all the time. I actually, maybe these people are perfect for each other. I cannot with these, this editing. Who is this for? I like, it's a, it's a bus. You need like nine angles of the bus. Also, sorry. What the fuck is Chris doing? <laughs> what is, these people are not getting paid enough for this. Like you can just, you don't have to do this. These all-star guys are on the bus again. Still full of anxiety. Charity's fall down the stairs gave her notoriety. I was like, why are they saying anxiety while these guys are like dapping each other up? And I was like, oh, so they can rhyme with notoriety. Also, she's supposed to be the star of the show and they just gave her like a van that's like kind of just a normal van and the dudes get a party bus i don't know that seems i don't like that on the next bus in a room what do yeah. you hope we do today well i'm gonna have some karate sex you know oh yeah i'm gonna have some karate sex okay oh, oh, oh come on oh, what is this yeah. what is he doing what is he doing oh <laughs> Maybe these weren't the good old days. You know, we look upon the past with rose tinted glasses. And I think that this is evidence enough that we were wrong. <laughs> we were wrong. Andy's doing the thing where you wear a t-shirt over a polo, which is, I guess, for those who know things about karate sex, that that's uh, that comes with the territory. Oh, where are you going? Where are you going? Uh, oh my God. Oh my God. So your strategy is to show her how pudgy you are? Yeah. Hey, it might work. It might work. I have no comment. What is this? <laughs> what is going on? Hi, I'm Chris, and I don't know why anyone would want to date me, because all I do is take off my shirt. It helps to do better than before, but for other veterans, hope he'll be rejected once more with a next. Okay, they also are just rhyming. <laughs> It's just too much, right? It's just like a little too much. I'm gonna show the White Sox a special, yo. I yeah, 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 yeah. He keeps calling himself White Chocolate and it makes me uncomfortable. That's all, that's that's all I got. I mean, it's just like, stop doing that. All right, let's see what his, let's see what his three facts are. Your body got a match, but we got nothing to check. Used to weigh 350 pounds, okay. Works at FedEx, awesome. <laughs> I love that for my packages. Got nexted after battling bridesmaids for a bouquet. Hey! How you doing? I'm good. Good. Oh, what's your name? I'm Chris. Chris, I'm Charity. Charity, the one who fell off the next bus. Yes! Oh, yes. I do not know why they're all yelling. Why are they all yelling at each other? What is going on? I don't. I don't remember this element of things. They are face to face. <laughs> oh my God, you're Charity. Yeah, you're the girl who fell off the next bus. I am. I know you're outside, but like rein it in a tad. Today, I'm gonna put your best fall to the test. Oh yeah. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah, yeah, let's go, baby. Come let's on. Go. Let's Take go. Me. So like, this is what I meant. Like, obviously it's fake, right? But like, even knowing that, why is my question. Watch you do your best fall on those steps. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, go. So the thing about next is you've got the date going on, but we've got to see what is happening on the bus because fun antics are occurring, one might presume. So dudes, what do you think how much he must have paid for the chain? <laughs> what should you pay for that sentence? <laughs> Okay, so now we're making fun of how people talk. Look, I'm just saying that he's one to talk. I'm one to talk. I stutter all the time. It's fine. Yeah, come on, boy! Come on! Hello, my name is Charity. I'm to go. Oh. How, how'd I do? I, it didn't do that bad, but I guess it's like, maybe they're, they act so big so that when there's quiet, it seems like an extremely awkward moment because before everyone was just yelling and everyone was excited about everything. And so now you can just like take that away. And then it's like, <clears throat> the oxygen's been like taken out of the, the moment. I think. What did they say? <laughs> did, did they say yes? Or did they say, what do you guys think? And then they pointed with their fingers, their big like fingers. And I, that normally is like a bad thing, but it sounded like they were saying yes. I'm sorry, next. 
side, girl. You could have some of this white chocolate right here, girl. Are you serious? What? <laughs> Episode one of the season, by the way. I am to believe that this dude just exposed himself. Now, that's the thing. It's like, this is har sexual harassment. You know what I mean? Th this shouldn't be okay, and they shouldn't show it on television. And so the fact that they are feels like it's scripted and prepared. You know what I mean? I had no idea this was coming. Oh, dude, what the hell is this? What is going on? MTV, by the way, this aired at 2 p.m. This aired after I got off of, at, I, was, I came home from school to this, okay? I don't need charity. What's your name, girl? Hope. Yeah. This is, <laughs> this is so much worse than I thought it would be. I could not have predicted how bad this would be in the, in the ways that it is bad. I like that. Charity wanted Amanda Tripp not to strip, so she had to give Chris the slip. Adam's up next. Also, I didn't comment on it at the moment, but like, I don't understand why most of the stuff is on his body. Like, is that, that to protect him was what I thought. The helmet for sure, right? The elbow pads, definitely. But then this, the stuff around his legs and then the like thing around his waist, I just don't know. And then did he have a, is this a back? Like, what is, I don't know what any of this is. Last time was a minute, today I double it. Bling. See, so you just say bling at the end of his, dude, that's actually kind of sick. I can incorporate that. Hello and welcome back to Jarvis Shots and Gold. Bling, <laughs> you know? I think we might be onto something actually. Is this guy gonna make it more than a minute? Let's find out. But first we have to we have to learn of his three facts. Things he's allergic to bra fasteners. Okay, so he's another self-deprecating fact. He's got no game. He hosts a morning radio show in Santa Barbara. All right. Got nexted for calling his date jugs. Ugh. Normally the third fact is like a really weird one, but because this is all the, like, this is like the all-star episode. Okay, here's like a normal, here's like a normal, um. Even if this guy isn't a professional basketball player, I'm hoping he's hung like one. If these guys don't clean their teeth, it probably means they have smelly balls. <laughs> okay, I just wanted to play like a regular episode of Next. And this is, I mean, this is basically the same thing with like a different person. Like who is feeding her these lines? And why are they obsessed with their genitals? You know? I Let's just look at one fact. Yeah, I'll see you in a minute. What do you think its chances are? Who, Keanu? <laughs> <laughs> Hope she's down to play. Sorry. What do you think its chances are? Keanu as an insult? Keanu Reeves. Famous, beloved actor Keanu Reeves. He's saying he looks like him, which is a only a compliment. What do you think his chances are? 100%. Keanu Reeves walks off the next bus. I'm saying, Keanu, would you take $0 or would you prefer to walk out into the sunset with me together? Let's do this. Pre-med student, speaks Mandarin, sleeps with weenie Pooh bear every night. You see what I mean? Like they always do this. But anyway, we, we're missing that because it's the all-star season. I'm Charity. Yes, you fell off the bus. There's no way these people watched the whole, all the episodes of Next. Like they just said Charity fell off the bus. And so you should know that. Hey. You will be put to the test to see how great of a fall you can do down these steps. I feel like she's losing energy. <laughs> I, I feel like for the first one, she was like, yeah! yeah! You're gonna come down the steps with me. Yeah, come on, boy! Woo, woo, woo. Remember? <laughs> Remember from the show? <laughs> and then the dude was just like, yeah! Yeah! <laughs> and now that is just unsustainable. So now she's like, hey, um, nice to meet you. I'm Charity. You may remember me from the falling down the stairs. Anyway, you've got to do it. It's over there. Just like give it your best, I guess. <laughs> Will Adam be able to fall like a pro? <laughs> uh, the visual of having somebody pretend to fall downstairs is just something so, so 2000. And I guess this is 2008. I never saw this. But you know, back in the day, this is, you know, even earlier. Well, Charity just held this all star to go. Fine. Honestly, that was a pretty good fall. Uh, what do you think, guys? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Wait, was that a second fall? Because his original fall was like that. And then this one. Yeah, that's a, he did a second fall. He did a second fall on TV. You can't hide this shit from me. His first fall was very good, but that didn't fit your storyline, did it? So you had him do it again, and then he got nexted. I trusted you. And now your words mean nothing. That's a reference, by the way, to a very old video. I wonder if uh, anybody 
remembers that. Don't even ask me what I think, because I'm gonna tell you. You suck, you suck, you suck, you're right. You suck the most. I'm undecided on you. I'm sorry, Adam. Wait, he literally just, this girl wronged him. These people just didn't like his fall and he just went postal on all of them. He just, they caught every stray. He poured this girl who he said, you suck the most. What did she even do? Um, there was just no passion. What? Next. You look like an ugly version of Margaret Cho. I'm glad you're next to me. Wicked glad. Au revoir. Uh, well. That was... He, so, okay. You know, he essentially made a racist comment. Comparing her to Margaret Cho. Jesus Christ. She sucked. Her perfectly geometrically round face sucked. Her life sucked. This guy sucks at insults. Let's see how she handles Taj Mahat. Don't make him say that. Okay, my favorite part about this is his head nod while these things are coming up. I fully thought it was going to be a freeze frame, but he's just kind of casually going, and he's still going. <laughs> My passion uh -huh. is rapping and tapping and cool. That's new information. Your, your passion is rapping and tapping? Up with me. Uh, Anytime. Here's your chance to perform for me. So let's go to the let's stage. Go. You ready? Let's go. Yeah. Let's, go. let's go to the stage. <laughs> I, I feel mean, but she's doing a voice when she says that. I'm going to show you okay. what you're going to have to do, OK? Sure. Hey, I knew I'm rude. I don't get in front of surprise. You should have recognized my exotic look and my erotic ways. You want to try me out in different ways. I <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm impressed. I, I, I like wasn't expecting. It seems like she prepared a lot more than I would have anticipated or she just had that in her back pocket. I'm, I'm impressed. Okay, now you try. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hey guys, look at my rap. I, it's my first time, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try and I'm going to win. <laughs> this is a lose-lose situation, but it's the funniest thing I've ever heard. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna win. Hey guys, look at my rap. <laughs> hey guys, look at my rap. My first time, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna win. I mean, honestly, props. It's like an inspirational, it's like a, it's like an Eminem song. It's like one of those like, uh, hey, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna win. Hey guys, look at my rap. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's good. This is my rap and what? Is it good? That was great, Anurud. Okay. <laughs> you tried, yeah. and so now, oh. let's eat. Let's go. Let's go. Woo. Woo. Meanwhile, on the next bus. On the next bus, we're having a good time. I just came last year. Yeah. Oh, from where? Bombay. Oh. India. Okay, so Anurud's been in America for one year and he has found himself on Next. Honestly, that's king behavior. I can't, I can't say anything bad about this man. He's clearly living life to its fullest and he's gonna try and he's gonna win. <laughs> I mean, what can I say? You would date a lot of girls? Well, in the uh, United States, it would be my first date. Oh my God, me? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, this is his first date in America. This is so precious. This is this is a whole new subplot. I, I'm I'm now a stan, actually. So happy. And you're like uh, really good looking. Thank you. You are. This is a turn. <gasps> Will you marry me? Oh, I don't love that. Why did the producers make him do this? Yes! Yes! I will! Yes! Okay! Yay! Stay on the route! Tiki Hermasala! Ah! Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. They, dude, what the fuck is this? They like almost had a cute moment and then they were like, let's ruin this by making him propose and then let's make a racist comment. Tiki masala is a traditional Indian dish. Okay, no, it's not though, actually. It's from, you know, many sources attributed to the South Asian community in Britain. Some sources cited as Glasgow as the city of origin. Not that I'm an expert, but it is not a traditional Indian dish, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Honestly, it seems like a mistake that they wouldn't end with that one because that they walk off into the sunset, they propose, obviously it's not real, but you would think that they would end the episode on a proposal for marriage and running off into the sunset, but no. I'm Nolan. We've got to hear from Nolan. I like girls with a little foreign flavor. Being one nationality is so last century. Interesting. 
Meanwhile, this guy looks like <laughs> he looks like the like third string Superman. <laughs> like he is in the most primary of colors. Last time I didn't get off the bus, but this time sexy Nina cannot be contained. Sexy Nina cannot be contained. My favorite part about these intros is where they have to say something kind of sad or embarrassing to them and they like kind of look a little down as they say it. <laughs> when Nina's like, what's up? My name's Nina. Last time I didn't get off the bus, but this time <laughs> sexy Nina can't be stopped. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like her whole life flashes before her eyes. Also, Nina is 19. This is her second time on Next. There are other ways to meet people, Nina. Maybe don't contain Sexy Nina to the next show. <laughs> Maybe let Sexy Nina uh, exist out in the world. <laughs> Imagine if you thought your only way of finding someone to date was going on this specific television show. I'm Chantel, I'm 19. These people are so young. Last time I didn't get off the bus, so this time I'm throwing the other girls under it. <laughs> I'm gonna kill them, actually. Nicole, I'm 22, and if I get next in for my hair again, I'm pulling a Britney and shaving it off. <laughs> oh no! Leave Britney alone! Leave Britney out of this, dude! I'm Brenda, I'm 18, and last time I was in next, I had a box. So this guy better be ready for a knockout. Wait, she's 18 and she's already been on next before? So, like, wait, I get. Hopefully, they film. Did they have minors on the show? That's so weird. This seems... I'm already, like, alarmed that I watched this when I was young. I feel like 17 is too young to be exposed to the show in any capacity. No one's waiting to give them a second chance to make a first impression. He's wearing that to their... Okay. Even if you are all first, I don't think you're going to get next because we're awesome. Aww. Aww, that's nice. But I'll never forget what you said about Britney. I'm a first. Not a they're much more supportive of each other, I feel, this time around. Ow! Oh my god, low rise shorts. I totally forgot this was a thing. Come on, guys. <laughs> Come on. Wants a churro maker for a birthday. Nice. Oh, you ready to do this? You know I'm ready. So nothing happened. They do they do their gladiator date, and then he asks her. Um, on a second date and she says no. So that's a very anticlimactic way to end this episode. Uh, creative note, should have just ended with the sunset and done this in reverse order. But look, I am not the mastermind behind MTV's next, but this video is over now. So thanks for watching it. I hope you had fun. But next, <laughs> just you've been on this video for 20, minutes and uh you can either go on a second video um or you can go watch something else <laughs> but you can't stay here <laughs> stay gold everybody